as the fans flock to see our team take the field for the first time this season. Mm -hmm. And we hung out in the stands, asked fans what they think of the team. <laughs> they look very good right now. They seem to be uh, very uh, acclimated. They seem like they're very uh, getting in good shape. I'm looking forward to a great season. It's still real, real early. First training count, we got time. People burning up out there. So what about the defense, right? Well, many are predicting the Browns to have one of the best units in the league next season. Some pretty high expectations. Sports director Andy Baskin is live on 5 in Berea. Andy, what's Browns pro bowler Joe Hayden saying about all that? Well, it was a great day out here today. Joe Hayden had a chance to step up to the mic. We'll let you hear from him in a second. But Mike Pettin thought things went so well that he gave the guys a couple plays off. They normally end practice at about noon. Today, they ended at 1130. One of the reasons things might be going smooth, though, is because of the defense and a guy like Joe Hayden. Hayden led his defense out on the field for the first time at the first practice of the uh, of training camp 2015. Now, Hayden believes uh, one of the things this team needed to do was stop the run. They were dead last in the NFL last year against the run, so they brought in a guy named Danny Shelton, but bringing him in with the first pick overall has given this team a lot more confidence on defense. We have all the players that we need to be a great defense, you know. Um, we just got to keep each other accountable like me. I, I just got to be out there not letting people catch the ball on me. They got to see me going hard. Got to see me, Dante, everybody communicating. Because, you know, it's, 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 just because we played good last year doesn't mean we're going to just come out and play good again this year. Again, it was a great day. The defense normally always leads the offense, especially in these training camp situations. The offense has got some things to learn. And one of the big stories of the day was Terrell Pryor. And coming up a little bit later in the show, Mike Cairns is going to talk about what the story of the day was, I believe, in the way Terrell Pryor looked as a wide receiver. We've got more training camp coming up throughout the show, and it's 6. Let's send it back inside to you guys. All right, Andy, stay cool out there. Hot. Everybody's got their towels. And don't forget, we are your home for everything brown. We'll be live at training camp this Sunday for a special edition of the Dog Pound Report. Join Andy at 1130 right here on News Channel 5.